What's good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. So we're here. We're back. I want to keep these videos uh, 10 minutes or so. So you guys can get a concept of it. Now we have the E, right? And we got a little bit crazy. We got a little bit wilder on that one. Um, but for this next one, we're going to go a little bit more to the extent. Now, a lot of people want to go and get too crazy and throw in like way too much things. And then you get lost and the concept of what you got going, right? So, since we kept it here, we kept it blocky, we kept it edgy, now we're gonna go to the other form of graffiti lettering, which is the swirls, and more or less, still having that graffiti aspect to it. Now, the same way goes with the sketch, but this time you're doing more like ovals, right? So what you want to do is you want to have still some sharp edges, but most have to be a little bit more of a curvy style, just to give you that little like extra, you know. And that's basically all you're doing in this in this form structure, which is having yourself your your thicks, your thins. All that stuff is going to help you. Now, like I said, guys, this doesn't necessarily mean you have to do your lettering like this. This is just a concept of what you can do with different forms of letters, right? So, like I said, guys, what I, what I prefer on most of my pieces, I do. I don't do any of this, but I'm just trying to teach you guys how to, how to get the concept going good, right? And, um... You basically just start off like this, you know, because this is what's gonna give you that piece, that wild style, that that letter you're looking for that you just didn't know how to get the concept of it or anything, you know. You just want to change it up. You want to do like so much with it. You want to just take it to a whole nother level. This is the perfect way of how to do that. Now. Like I said, guys, don't be afraid to get super crazy creative, but keep it in fact that your letter is still there. Now, on this one, like I said, I did get a little bit more wilder and a little bit more crazier, but the reason why is because we're going to ink it in so you can see what shape of letter I'm going with towards the end. Okay? So, once again, guys, remember, this is just one letter. It's just an F. That's all it is. It's nothing more, nothing less, right? For all you guys that like adding arrows to everything, you can do that, but just have in mind that arrows don't just necessarily need to pop out of nowhere and just, you try to have to make them flow with the letter. So if your letter form is to an extent of like a nice curvy edgy, keep that in shape when you start doing your arrow. Because if you don't, Chances are you're going to throw your whole piece away because of that extra little arrow you just put there that didn't belong there. You know, there's no wrongs and there's no rights when it comes down to graffiti. But when you're doing more of an art form of this graffiti, then yes, there is rights and there is wrongs. Um, not to an extent where you're like, oh man, it has to be like this. All the letterings have to look like this. No, that's that's not that's not correct. That's not that is nothing like what graffiti is. Graffiti is a free form art that you choose as you go. You basically come up with any style, any letters, anything. Right? So what we're gonna get here, we're gonna get my ink pen and we're gonna start outlining only the stuff that we want. Now, if you guys see this closely. As you can see, I'm only going from point A to point B, and I am not stopping. Now, the reason why you want to do your sketching like the way I sketched earlier, and then when you want to do your cleanup, you want to make sure you keep that very crisp, very nice. Um, I taught this uh, this uh, step to a few guys on my kit, and man, you'd be surprised on some of the artwork they're coming up with now. It's the same arc where they had before, but now it's just so much cleaner, so much crisper, and man, it's just, 
to me it's just like yeah there you go now you have your style but at the same time you have it so nice and crisp and legible and readable it's one thing but when it's crisp it doesn't matter if it's legible or readable it just looks nice you know I can go on and on about how you can do stuff and everything but if I don't show you how to make your lines crisp and clean you know you're basically going to be still at square one which to me is kind of pointless of doing these tutorials if, if I don't give you the basics the right way now as you've seen I'm turning my page around and around and to you guys it might seem like well I can't really see bro because you're moving it around okay this isn't for you to like just mimic what I drew this is just basically so you guys can see how it's done that I'm not keeping my page in one solid size where it's at you know and you can see this is a beautiful thing about when you're sketching it in you're giving yourself ideas but once you actually start inking it in and you start seeing like oh you know what it'd be cool if I did this or it'd be cool if I did that that's where you start throwing those extras in you know and like I said guys this is a little bit more of a wild style and so you go a little bit wilder a little bit better but at the same time you keep yourself that free form status just like that see that right there just like that that's what you want to go for right there so once you have that give yourself a few seconds let that dry up nice and good because if you come at it right away um chances are you're gonna smear the black <laughs> you know what i'm saying um now i don't know about you guys but in my art store there's a lot of these there's like the little gunk and it's an eraser all right what you do is you just expand it extend it it gets lighter color right and what it is it's an eraser from prisma and you get it and you just pass through your paper now look very closely I have not left no residue no residue whatsoever it didn't smear my page it didn't take anything from it but it's giving it that clean crisp look that I'm looking for right now when you sketching that's why you kinda just barely sketch very so lightly because of that fact that you don't want to damage your page and you don't want to do this and you don't want to do that right well you know basically there you guys have your F right now once I took off all the lines it's kind of hard to read where it's at but for all you guys that were following it through you guys can clearly see it but if you guys can't see it it's right here Bam. There's your F. All these little extras are just, like I said, they're extras. So, like I said, guys, this is very important from starting from your blocked out to free form of your swirls and angles and straight lines and thins and thicks to everything. Another thing I like doing once I have the desire complex size that I have already I like coming back and I like sharpening up everything real nicely so I basically bold out the line a little bit you know and I start sharpening it out now what I mean by sharpening it out is just basically you just give it that extra look like it's it's more of a graffiti fill See what I'm saying? And with that, it gives it a bolder, hey baby, a bolder and better look. So you have that concept there already. And there's so much more you can do through through the whole process of doing all this. Um, you can go from a wild style and then a 3D effect, or you can do a shadow, you can do a drop shadow behind it, you can do um, just bold it out the way I'm bolding this one out. It just all depends on how 
far you want to take your lettering. But once again, guys, remember, this is not possible if you don't learn your basic lettering. If you don't have your basic lettering, you're going to be trying out there to do all kinds of wall style. And your letters are going to... And I'm not even going to waste paper in here. I'm going to get the sticker right here. All right? And this is just me, personally. I used to do this when I was beginning back in the day. What I used to try to do is I try to go like all crazy and try to add cuts and, uh, and I'll kind of get lost in the shape and like I would try to do more and then I'd be like, ooh, and then i put an arrow this way and then I'll go around and my letter, if it started here and here, instead of being there, it would be like down here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Guys, it's very important that if your letter... Is supposed to meet up with another one you keep it that way because then you end up with something like that you know when you easily could have done this and have your letter at least somewhat more legible and better you see what I'm saying so stay away from this concept Everyone teaches this concept. This concept is like everyone's go-to. This is the right concept. You want to be like every graffiti artist out there that has the super cleanest, best letters, you go with this concept. When you're out on the wall, you sketch like this. All right? That's how you sketch. And then you come back, you do your fill-ins, you do your shades, you do your inside cuts, everything. You come back at the end with the black nice and sharp. You do your 3D, you do your outline, you do another outline, you come back, do your cleanup, and then after that you do your outer your, or whatever or however you want to do it. But you always start out your sketches like this. The way you see here, this is how I start out my sketches. Why? Because I like my lines to be crisp, clean. And at the end of the day, my pieces will look nice. You know what I'm saying? So basically, guys, that's what I have for you guys for this video right here. We're going to continue on doing the rest of the ABC in this order and I'll fly through it on the next one and then so you guys can check it out. Deuces!